This way, my dear. I've something to show you. Where are we going? One of Starrick's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. When the world is full of nasty things, we must tear those things apart. A man like Starrick builds a world around his own desire. Keep moving. In you. you must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together. That's one. Set. Rigged up. Perfect. Let's put our plan into action. Stand back. 
Ready! Wait! Whatever for? There are children in there. Jacob, my dear. Starrick views his child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production line. I don't like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon, you will understand what it is to be free, as I am. Line them up, boys! No! What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth. No. Gift, sir, from Mr. Rock. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation. Oh, 
You can thank your sister for this. I hope she makes haste and may begin soon. Flavors! Enjoy my best for vanilla! Tahitian vanilla directly! Boss Havoc! You start with it! Give him a good flavor! Everyone ready? Then let's proceed. and highly disturbing. Do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not. This is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. Keep moving. This sort of evening is quite Look, will you just run along now? You've got the last now. You won't get away with it. Gentlemen, you're still here, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. Let me out. Need to lower the grid for the show. Yes. 
this gentleman being fired upon at point blank range? Our performer. Several targets placed around his head. Exciting, is it not? Will our honored guest go unharmed? We pressure a hardy bunch. Let's put our hardiness to the test. Suppose drifting, dear. Excuse me, love. Just looking for the lavatory. Who's over there? Thanks. Suitably flat headed gentleman for this one. <laughs> you, you laugh, ladies and gentlemen, but I assure you that is the case. I have no doubt that you could hazard a guess as to what this one concerns, my friends. That's a daisy. Tom Hutchley. Our courageous participant hasn't even flinched. Standing a few feet away, our performer expertly throws his knives at the apple, slicing it in two.
Visualized oh, math. Show yourself. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on. Toast them! <laughs> Your move, Jacob, my dear! Burn! 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 Jacob, my dear, where are you? baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, i do anything. Why not?
down this place from hell to Hackney. city will die. Tupinay has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell, Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It is up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters, barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. To prevent a return of the Dark Ages, we will start anew. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on. Better to get visual verification. If we're going to move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Burr crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The piece of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right. He never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... What my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstones' residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstones' invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. Now, where can they be? The ball is tonight. They must have taken the invitations with them.
You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now? I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. private party event. Don't mind if I do. We're fast friends now, aren't we? Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been, but still.
Stokes. See you all the peepers. James Trade is Finally. A peepers moment. Get you close to the tracks or zip, they'll run you right over. Yeah, I understand. Run you right over. Yeah, I understand. Now remember, do not speak unless spoken to. Keep your hands to yourself. Good appearance, or your uncle will disinherit us. I'll be a good boy, I promise. I know. Is that you, my love? Who else but I? Your train was late. All is forgiven. <laughs> Embrace me. Your eyes shine as brightly as the stars. Then I shall shut them on this new moon, leaving you with no light to see by. I must be you. This one is being silly. Maybe two. Where is that conductor? He has seen you once more on Thursday. You await the day sleepless, stumbling about in the dark, waiting for the old night. We can still see you, my son. Train. He was drinking from a bottle. Where is that? One should not attend the Queen's Ball without making a proper entrance. That's a criminal element, that is. Now for the invitations. What's this? The swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. Slow down now!
quite a cabbage you got there. Where did you buy it, if, if you don't mind me asking? Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn it all. Was it my eyebrows? Yes, and your face, voice and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's Ball tonight. How did you come by that? Freddy, there's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you, only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So? Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach? Of course. sound and it'll be your last. <laughs>
be sorry if I catch you. Let's go. Freddy, here I come. One uniform as requested. It's still warm. My gift to you? I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. You're such a romantic. <laughs> <laughs> 